Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca and today I'm doing my first Will I Buy It video. Um, this could also be an anti-haul to some extent, but some of these products I might buy. I have not done a Will I Buy It here before, but I thought it would be really fun to do. Samantha March started these and I am a huge fan of hers. I love watching her videos and she just did a new one recently where she's putting up a playlist. Uh, that people can kind of add their will I buy it to. So I thought it'd be really fun to just do a will I buy it. I've been planning to do one forever and now I'm finally going to do it. I do want to state ahead of time guys, I'm a college student. I have to worry about spending money on other things like my home or my dogs or gas and all kinds of other things. So I purchase all of my own makeup myself and I am a makeup junkie, but I'm very picky about what I buy now. So I hope that this helps some of you guys out there that are also on a budget or in college or anything like that because I don't buy things I don't need anymore. I used to do that. So hopefully I help you be a little more picky and really spend your money where you need the products. But let's get on with this one. All right, so I'm getting all of my stuff from Trend Mood on Instagram. That is like the account that usually has all of the different new releases that you can buy and it really has all the information like way before anybody else. So I'm gonna be going on here and I will put photos up on the screen as I go of the products and we'll see how this goes. All right, so the first item is the Lara Lee Los Angeles Mini Pigment Palettes. They just got released. I believe today so usually these items aren't released yet that are on here but these are little mini pigment palettes there are six shadows per palette and the bundle book is $30 so I assume that means you're getting both pigment palettes for $30 that's not a bad price point if both of these together are $30 I'm not mad at it um but I'm not a pigment person. I think that the Boss Babe one is actually pretty cute. I like the colors a lot. So I could see myself getting that at some point in the future. But the one that's super colorful, I just don't see myself using. Um, this actually is nothing against the brand or even the products because I actually think these are decent products probably. But I just don't think at this point in time I would get the use out of them. Moving on, there's a new palette from Urban Decay and it is the Aphrodisiac palette. It has six shades in it and there is no price. However, I believe that their like naked mini basic palette is somewhere around $30. So this has the same amount of shades. So I would assume this is probably going to be around the $30 range as well. And I will say that they're pretty shades but I don't think that they interest me enough to buy them. I used to love Urban Decay shadows and I just haven't, I haven't bought as many of them in recent times, honestly. I used to buy a lot of them and after the um, Naked Heat palette, I just really haven't bought any since then. So I do think the shades are pretty. I love that kind of cranberry shimmer shade, but I don't think I'm gonna purchase them for myself. All right, moving on, there is a new highlighter palette from Ofra Cosmetics. It is going to retail for $49, and it has four highlighters. There's a full size of Beverly Hills, and then a mini of Star Island, Rodeo Drive, and Blissful. Now, they're very pretty. I will say that. This is one that, like, I'm not for sure on if I'm going to actually purchase it, but this is one that I'm very drawn to for the highlights. I think that they are beautiful. Um, I bought in highlight kits before that are in that $50 range that I really regret buying, and that's what kind of scares me. But I know that Ofra highlighters are usually extremely pigmented and beautiful, and I really think that this palette there's something really pretty about it, so I'm not 100% sure, but there's a chance with this one for sure that I might have to pick it up. All right, after that, I really had to include this one. It just came out on the Anastasia website, but it's not out at Sephora and Ulta yet, and if I do buy it, I'll wait until it's at Ulta, but that is the Norvina palette. It is $42. And there are seven mattes and seven shimmers. Now, 
I really like this palette. I'm not gonna lie. I think that if I purchase it, I'm definitely going to wait until it is at Ulta because I will get the reward points. I'm not gonna buy it from the Anastasia website. And also that makes it very easy to return if I don't love it. But there's something about this palette that I love. I'm a very warm toned person and this is a very cool toned palette. So usually I wouldn't be drawn to it. But I love my Modern Renaissance palette. I love my Soft Glam palette. And I think that there is something about this palette that just makes me feel like I need to try it. Out of all the products in this video, I really think that this is one that I am most likely going to be purchasing. All right, and the last product in here is a really exciting one. That is the Beauty Blender Bounce Liquid Whip Longwear Foundation. <laughs> Long name. Um, they're going to be $40 each and will be released on July 24th. And there's something really interesting about these. They're kind of cool in the way that their dispensers are because it looks like they're kind of like meant to dispense right onto your beauty blender. Like it has like a built-in indention for your beauty blender, which is kind of cool. And this is an interesting one for sure. It's supposed to have a velvet matte finish, which is something that I think I would like a lot because I do get quite oily very easily. So I like matte foundations, but I don't like them to be so matte that they get very patchy. I might have to see some reviews on this before I actually purchase it for myself, but this is one that I'm definitely interested in. I think it's really cool that the Beauty Blender brand is coming out with a foundation, and you would imagine that since Beauty Blenders literally are like a monopoly on the sponge game, that their foundation that they come out with would be very, very good and well-reviewed and a good value. So $40 for it, doesn't sound horrible to me because I do consider Beauty Blender to be a high-end brand even though they just have blenders right now. So they're definitely in a pretty average range compared to like Tarte and Too Faced and other brands like that that you would find in Ulta and Sephora. I'm not 100% on this, but I'm very interested in this foundation. I think it is a foundation that I probably would want to try. All right, y'all, so that is it for my Will I Buy It video on some of the upcoming and new releases for the rest of the summer here. I hope this might have helped some of you guys out there because being someone who is in college and planning my wedding and on a budget, I can't be buying every single makeup release anymore, so I'm very picky on what releases I'm going to purchase for myself with my own money. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up and please also comment down below and tell me what new releases you are or aren't going going to buy. And also, of course, please subscribe. I do videos on beauty and lifestyle and unboxing and all kinds of other fun stuff. So hit subscribe and you won't miss another video. And I will see you guys in the next one.